In this video, I'm gonna show you my Mai Tai recipe. It is slightly different to Kevin Crossman's, the ultimate Mai Tai. And look, there is no denying that Kevin Crossman's ultimate Mai Tai is fantastic. It tastes great, it really does. But the way I like to approach things is I kind of like to think of the average person at home. And I class myself as that. Yes, I'm fortunate enough that I've got a lot of ingredients here, but not many of you will. Like how many of you, unless you are a true dedicated Mai Tai lover, how many of you will have those four rums, let alone three different Jamaican rums that kind of go into that blend? So I kind of approach it slightly differently. This is a two rum blend, but actually the whole point of this series is to see whether we can do a Mai Tai with just one Jamaican rum. That is absolutely delicious, I love that. Now, I'm not gonna give you a history lesson in this video. I've talked about it before. I've got other videos on this channel and live streams where we've talked about it before. Many other channels, YouTube channels, have covered this in great detail. It's even covered in pretty decent detail in Jeff in Beach Bum Berry's uh, cocktail books and Martin Kate Smuggler's Cove. There is no need for me to go over old ground. But also I will say, just in case you didn't know, the original Mai Tai, the original 1944 Mai Tai, was just one rum. It was Ray and Nephew, 17 year old. Now for those of you that may like keep a track, you may have seen Appleton release a 17 year old rum. Appleton, for those of you who didn't know, own, Mount, uh, own uh, Rain Nephew. So it's the same sort of distillery. But of course, processes have changed. Barrels have changed. You know, distilling methods, stills have changed. There is no way of replicating that Ray and Nephew 17 year old, no matter what people do these days. There is just no way. And that is why many people go down different, or the, the reason why there are many, many Mai Tai recipes out there. Two rum blends, three rum blends, four rum blends. I've even seen a six rum blend in a Mai Tai on a bar menu before. Now there's no saying whether that's right or wrong. That's for you to decide. But this is what sparks this deep dive for me because if that original 17 year old rum was good enough to create the very first Mai Tai, then have we got any rums available to us at a decent price that could get close to recreating that Mai Tai or at least taste as good? Now look, there is something I wanna point out which will be blatantly obvious to a lot of people. I've never tried the original Mai Tai. Of course I haven't. You know, that rum is just, I think there is a little bit of stock of that rum out there, but you're talking like thousands and thousands of pounds worth just for one cocktail. So I've never tried it. I do not know what that tastes like. So all I can go on for my kind of own experiment is whether I like it more than what I like my current recipe. So on Mai Tai day, which is the day this video originally dropped, this sparks a little journey for me. I'm gonna go down the route of Jamaican rum, all trying to keep within that sort of 60, 62 dollar, 50 UK pounds, you know, 60 euros, give or take, kind of benchmark, that's my ceiling. There are two rums that break that, but I have to use them. Anyway, all that's to come over the next few weeks on both channels, but for now, let's dive into my Mai Tai recipe. Now, the one thing I wanna emphasize here is I've never spent proper time sort of like experimenting. The Mai Tai for me actually in the my business is not a cocktail that I make that often. It is purely personal consumption when I fancy a cocktail. Nine times out of 10, I'm going neat or a simple mixer. So I've never properly, with the exception of a couple of live streams, gone down the Mai Tai route to see whether you know my I can better my rum blend. I've just gone purely for ease because these two rums I've always got for my business. You know, I've always got Plantation OFTD. I've always got uh, Zomaka. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not just behind the bar. It's that side of the bar as well that I've always got this. So I've just settled on that. That's my rum blend. We're going to experiment with that over the month. Uh, pretty standard ingredients. Your orchard and your brown sort of rich simple syrup, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, I have gone back to Pierre Front dry orange curacao. This will be reflected in my ratios for this cocktail. I'll explain that in a second. I used to use a Clement Creole shrub. This is just a bit drier and actually works for me better in the Mai Tai because I can then play about with the orange art and just give that little bit of extra arm with these twists coming on. Now, there's a reason for those of you looking at that thinking, what the hell are they doing there? Let me explain. 
For those of you that follow me on various channels will know that I thoroughly endorse and you know always have bottled lime juice. Bottled lime juice for me is as good a quality as fresh. The only thing you don't get is that zestiness with fresh, you know, when you really kind of do. Now, the one thing I want to point out for all you guys around the world that you're not lucky enough to get the four main products that we get in the UK, okay? We do get bottled 100% lime juice. I'm not, not with all the other chemicals and all the stabilizers and all that. I'm talking 100% pressed, uh, squeezed, freshly squeezed lime juice. It is squeezed within a couple of hours of picking, of, of harvesting. What I use these for is just to give me a little dash, gives me that bright, zingy zestiness from if I put a lime or a big chunk of lime in a cocktail shaker and shaking it. I just love that little bright zestiness. I like, um, flush blending this. This is just, you know, my kind of thing. So the first ingredient we're going to go for is the Zymaca. I'm going to do 45 mil, one and a half ounces of this 43% Jamaican pot still rum. I think that does the business for me. I'm then going 15 mil, one five of the OFTD, overproof rum in there. Uh, now, Here's the thing, here's the sort of level up. Because I use dry orange curacao, let's do that next actually. 15 mil of the dry orange curacao. Because that hasn't got the sweetness of the Clément shrub, um, Creole shrub, I do up this to 10 mil instead of seven and a half mil. So I've got 10 mil of or jar going in there. Seven and a half mil of my brown uh, or Demerara sugar syrup. And then, uh, let's, let's do the lime juice while it's here. So 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do one of these dashes of uh, Fee Brothers Lime Bitters. And they just smell zingy and vibrant. I, I love that. One dash is enough. Now, I'm just gonna do a little scoop of crushed ice, give it a flash blend. And I've got my Mai Tai glass, thanks to uh, Mr. Marky T, Mark Thomas. Just gonna do an open gated pour there. Top it up with a bit more crushed ice, just to kind of do that. There we go, nice mountain of crushed ice on top. Now, because, you know, because I don't have that, or don't tend to use those limes on, on the uh, videos, what I've got, I've got a, again, because I like long life and shelf stable, I've got a dehydrated lime, I've got a, a lovely dehydrated uh, pineapple there, and I have got sprigs of mint because I've always got them for mojitos and that is my current Mai Tai and that is flipping delicious honestly I would quite happily put that on a bar menu and sell that I do think it is good you know I get that I get the Jamaican pot still that funk off there I get that little bit of burst of heat from the OFTD I don't know that one rum could do this job but it's certainly gonna be interesting. But that for me is my personal benchmark. I would love to hear your Mai Tai rums in the comments below. If it's just Kevin Crossman's, uh, just put uh, KC in the comments below. <laughs> you know, you don't have to list those rums. We all know what Kevin Crossman's ultimate is. But let me, let me know yours. And don't forget, tune in on the other channel, Steve the Barman Rum Reviews, to see my Jamaican head-to-head -head, uh, battles in that, the first one is Appleton 8 versus Appleton 12. Cheers.